bludgeoned to wrestling. Rocky, oh, that's a low blow. Amazing Island has the least creative title ever. And are you ready for the Yoshinoya Beast Bowl game? That's disgusting. It's game time. Go back, Joe. Please welcome the hottest and only people on this show, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Oh, he's the master of the backhanded compliment. Oh, don't let him get to you, Adam. You're clearly the cutest and only boy on this show. Welcome to X-Play. Today we have a game featuring classic wrestlers, many of whom are now dead. Wow, that's not very upbeat. And a game called Amazing Island, because the people who make the title ran out of ideas. And I failed to see why she's so excited about that. And Mario Golf. Who doesn't love Mario? Who doesn't love golf? Me. And two more of the weirdest games we've ever seen, including a Yoshinoya game. Okay, now that's worth getting excited about. Yes, plus an N-Gage game review. And there's some other stuff, too. But let's start with a game that gets all the classic wrestlers from the past and puts them into one ring. Here's a review of Showdown, Legends of Wrestling. If you're old enough to remember the 70s, you probably don't because of the thick haze of a tail lazy lettuce that permeated the time. Yeah. Showdown Legends of Wrestling returns us to the blood, sweat, and beer-soaked wrestling match of the 70s and 80s. In these roped-in rings, colorful characters draped in loud tatters of comical excess ply the noble trade once celebrated by ancient Greek Olympians. Ah, progress. Right in the Aquavos Rinteros. Extra hats on, please. This game's got some great features in terms of celebrating some of the funniest personalities of wrestling history. Mila Mascaras, the eternally masked Mexican superhero. Jimmy Superfly Snuka, Andre the Giant, The Iron Sheik, Coco Beware, and Andy Kaufman. What is he doing? All bring their theatrical prowess into the ring of pain. But sadly, the only real wrestling you'll encounter here will be between you and the controller. This game's got more bugs than a Louisiana fruit farm. Bad cinematic fight routine. Bad glitchy gameplay. Bad I'm getting hit and the guy's nowhere near me. Signature moves can be fun like Andy Kaufman's not work. The sense of humor that brought Andy Kaufman into this title needed a serious side to iron out some of the glitches that pervade the game. What's funnier than Andy Kaufman, you say? How about a whole flipping ring full of them? Tell me where those WMDs are. Of course, all your favorite wrestling modes are here, like Battle Royale and Tag Teams. And there's even an option that allows you to replay infamous matches of the past, like the original Desert Storm that was Hulk Hogan and the Iron Sheep at Madison Square Garden. Maybe that's what Tom Riggs means by Homeland Security. Character creation was shallow, especially in the head shape and hair department. Ladies and gentlemen, Kabuki Manfruity. Manfruity's moveset can, of course, be customized to do all low blows. Let's see how he does. Right, not so good. What do you expect from a guy with the flag of England on his ass? No WMDs. Okay, where are the pirated copies of Finding Nemo, you diabolical demon guy? The AI in the game is sadly dim also. He got with the trash can over his head. I'm over here, dumbass. If you're held on a memory lane, I mean, check out the rack on Andre the Giant. You may find some interest in this title, but we thought the glitchy clunky can't turn this dope around environment out for the count. We give it a two that, out of five. So, Andre the Giant and Andy Kaufman live again, if only in this game. It's too bad that it's a glitchy piece of junk. Yeah, it really is sad that developers hip enough to put a cult comedy here on the game couldn't actually make beating him up fun. Plus, he's been dead for 20 years, which makes the game kind of inspirited. Yeah.